Good morning. I'm here at the Longs Peak Trailhead in Rocky Mountain National Park. And today I'm going to go for Mount Lady Washington. I'm going to try and go up from Granite Pass and I'm looking at over a 3,800 foot elevation gain. Official start time, 5.30. I've been hiking for a little over 30 minutes and the sun is getting ready to pop over the top of the Twin Sisters. And there's that beautiful sunshine. That's gonna be a great day. Let's go. It's 6.30 on the nose, which means it has taken me one hour to get up here. that and read it at your leisure. And here's more of it. I about ripped my groin in half. I just avoided the groin ripper, but I'm not out of this yet. I don't need to be ripping anything. Alpine tundra sign, baby. It says to stay on the trail. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is gonna be the most beautiful day. This is looking back in the direction that I have come from. On the right is Twin Sisters. That little point sticking up in the middle is Kruger Rock. And then the one sticking up to the left is Estes Cone. And here's our first good look at Mount Lady Washington, Long's Peak, and Mount Meeker. And look at that blue sky. That's going to be Battle Mountain to the right. And then right here in the middle is Granite Pass. It's pretty much the saddle between Battle Mountain and Mount Lady Washington. And I want to hike it up this north slope. It looks pretty clear. Look at this nice trail they built. Super fancy. My next stop is going to be Chasm Junction right there. And then from Chasm Junction, you can take it up the east slope. And I've done that a few times. That is super rowdy, really steep. And it takes me forever. I'm almost up there. All right, and I'm up here. Chasm Junction. It's just now 725, which means it's taken me an hour and 55 to get up here. I think 145 is my PB, and I did that when I was much younger. And this is all I have left. Just need to hike it out to Granite Pass, and then up the North Slope. 
I've already knocked out roughly 2,200 vertical feet. So I've only got a little over 1,600 left. All right, let's keep it moving. That was a nice little five minute break. Ate some power beans. I literally almost stepped on this guy. Got another marmot up here. It's just now eight o'clock. I'm floating along here at 11,900 and I'm almost out to Granite Pass. It looks like you could head up right here. That's totally doable. Much better than the east slope. But I'm gonna continue on up to Granite Pass and I'm gonna stick to the plan. And I cannot get over this clear blue sky today. And what's even more crazy is that I have not seen a single airplane in the sky today. Not one. So much water this year. And there's a bunch of elk down here. I didn't even notice them. They're looking up at me. Oh yeah, this is looking good. This north slope doesn't look too bad at all. Almost up to Granite Pass. Took a quick five minute break up at Granite Pass. And this is looking up at Mount Lady Washington. I think I'm gonna stay on the trail and ride it up as far as I can and then split off and take it up to the summit. I cannot get over how beautiful of a day it is. I've been putting this hike off, waiting for some good weather, and I am really glad that I did. This is paying off big time. And a quick shout out to the channel Moody Peaks. I was watching their video on Dark Mountain this morning before I left and he gave me a shout out in it. Got me all super pumped up to come out here today. So go subscribe to Moody Peaks. I'm just about up here to the second switchback. I've got one more and then I'm going to split off the trail and start heading up. But staying on the trail is good. It's getting me up there. Look how far down Granite Pass is now. That's going to be the first really good look at Storm Peak. And there's a lot of snow on it. And then you've got Long's Peak right there, looking absolutely massive. And then Mount Lady Washington, and that is looking easy. I've made it up to the third switchback. And from here, I'm gonna just cut it straight over, grab the North Ridge and take it up. And this has gotten me up to about 12,450. The summit is at over 13,200. So that only 
leaves about 800 more vertical feet. That ain't nothing. All right, I have branched off the trail and I'm heading up this final section to the summit of Mount Lady Washington. Yeah, this may be longer having to hike all the way around to this side of the mountain, but this is so much easier than that east slope. That thing just goes straight up. That's all I've got left. Maybe 600 vertical feet in four tenths of a mile. Let's go. Whoa. Sometimes those big boulders move on you. Almost up there. That's pretty much looking down onto the boulder field and over to Storm Peak. And you can see the keyhole over there too. I'm just under 13,000 right now. And this thing is starting to get steep at the top. I'm still showing another two tenths of a mile to the summit with roughly a 300 foot elevation gain. I'm taking a quick one minute break here, about a tenth of a mile under the summit. And I've got maybe 200 more vertical feet. But yeah, it's just right there behind me. It's 9.33, so I've been hiking for a little over four hours. My goal was to get up there before 10 o'clock. All right, let's get it. Home stretch. This thing gets tough at the end. That's gotta be the summit up there.
and we're up here summit of mount lady washington it is just now 10 o'clock so that took four and a half hours to get up here field down low it's gonna be Storm Peak sticking up right there in front of us and then over to the left is the keyhole and that's looking way down on the chasm lake it still looks all frozen and I found the summit register I had no idea there was one of these up here I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with a card Boom. And look at that wicked looking cloud sticking up over there. That looks crazy. Well guys, it's already 11 o'clock. I can't believe how fast that last hour just flew by, but it's time to go. It's time to head on back. All right, let's do it. Let's take it on back. And this is gonna be 100% all downhill. None of this fiddle farting going back up at the end. Nope, all downhill. This top 250 vertical feet or so is pretty brutal until you drop it down below 13,000 and then it gets much better. Yeah, there was some marmot poo right in the spot that I wanted to sit. So I tried to knock it away with my boot and all I did was end up smearing it all over the place. I've dropped below 13,000 and as you can see it gets a lot better. You can actually see where you're going. I have gone up the east slope three times, down it once, I've dropped it down to the boulder field once, I've taken it down from the camel to chasm lake once, and I can tell you right now this is by far the easiest way to go up and down Mount Lady Washington. Oh yeah, the rest of this is gonna be a cakewalk. It's gonna be long, but it's gonna be a nice downhill the entire way. And when I'm coming down, this is one of my favorite parts of the trail because you can see a lot of the mountains in Rocky Mountain National Park. I can see from Mummy Mountain over to Otis Peak. I'm back down to Granite Pass and that's looking back up at Mount Lady Washington and it just looks so easy from down here. It's really not though. I am crushing this trail on the way down. This is some fast hiking. It's just now 12.05 and I'm just below Granite Pass coming down and I'm thinking I might get back by maybe 2.30 but yeah so far this hike is going 100% according to my plan and it looks like the elk are still 
hanging out in this area. I've only been hiking down this section of trail from Granite Pass to Chasm Junction for like 30 minutes, but it's felt like an hour and 30 minutes. This section right here, I don't know about it. It's like not that long, but it seems really long. All right, it's 12.42. I'm looking at 3.5 miles back down to the trailhead. And I think I can do that in about an hour and 45. Dang, that tasted good. I had run out of water quite a while ago, and that was like ice cold. It gave me a brain freeze after like four sips. We got the afternoon thunderclouds rolling in, but I'm getting pretty close to being done with this thing. 25 minutes max, and what a great day beautiful weather and a really good hike and we're back Long's Peak Trailhead it is just now 2:10 on the nose which means it took three hours and ten minutes to come down could have easily done that in three hours but I was taking my time I stopped and I was talking with some people for a while so yeah it's just a really nice hike in total I was out here for eight hours and 40 minutes, looking at four and a half hours up, three hours and 10 minutes down, and one hour on the summit. But I hope you enjoyed the hike, and until the next one, y'all, peace.